Hello and welcome. The map we are checking out today is Return to Planet Earth uh, Mission 3. With Marauder's Peak now under Federation control, Hercule City becomes the Federation's next target. Testing has been done, but if you encounter any issues... Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> that's, not, that's not part of the story. Okay, return to Planet Earth's Mission 3. Jack's power armor took a severe beating during the last mission at Marauder's Peak and is currently undergoing repairs. With a limited number of power suits available, each one must be meticulously maintained. Much to Jack's disapproval, he must now use standard issue equipment. However, the mobile infantry knows no rest. There is always another mission to undertake, another bug nest to clear. With Marauder's Peak now firmly under Federation control, their sights are set on the next target, Hercule City. Jack's new orders are to deploy to Sector 6B of Hercule City. While Jack carries out his mission, a regiment of troopers will land throughout the city clearing a path. The objective is straightforward, restore power and eradicate the bug threat. Command aims to begin mining operations for crucial crystal resources, and Hercule City is the nearest site to the primary ore veins. Oh, wait. Due to no longer having access to the original voices used for John and Jack for task, Different voices will have slash will be employed. Currently, John has no line slash dialogue in this mission until I can find a replacement for AI voice for him. This place is a disaster. Let's hope we can get the city's power back online. Okay. I missed what that said. Unlike the combat engineers, this squad is not equipped for combat, so keep them behind other squads. What they lack in combat, they have the skills to build powerful defensive turrets and are capable of doing repair work. Characteristics, hit points. Uh, two? Range one? Okay. Curious. This is a, this is a curious and interesting thing to show. Unit traits. You know what? This is an interesting way of doing this, because this is definitely just like either L's or capital I's. And doing the thing where you... I don't know exactly what it would be, but the thing in brackets around each of them to indicate that it... Uh, to just change the color. Yeah, that is a that is a creative way of doing that. Unit traits. Does not gain experience, can repair mechanical units and constructions. Provide support. Sir. Tools at the ready. Affirmative. Yes, sir. How can you a problem? Sir. Let's save just in case. Standing by. Understood. Yeah, maybe maybe finding Pudge was using one of the uh, Troopers, listen up. One of the voices that sir. Listen up. What's the situation? Uh, let's see. What do we want? Let's take direct command. Standing by. Roger that. Understood. On eleven labs, when it comes to the the voices that Not a problem. that are usable, the ones uh, contributed by individuals. Bring units here. What are we doing? Like people that have signed up. up, troopers. With the power back online, our next objective is to sweep and clear this sector of the city. Leave no stone unturned. We need to make absolutely sure the bugs have no chance to reinfest once we're through here. Yes, sir. And I don't know if that was the case for the one that's no longer available. 
<laughs> I I very sparingly go on that website. Much to the the disappointment disappointment of the uh, the audiobook channel since I <laughs> since I so scarcely upload any content for that channel. But uh. Well, let's see. But yeah, what was I saying? On that website, voice actors can upload like uh, professional demo reels and sign up for being like one of the robot voices that people can use and they make money off of it, but like not that much. And uh... They can, of course, have, like, a caveat in there to where they can, like, take down their voice if they want, if they decide that they no longer want it on there. But, like, I read it. I read one of them, at least, where it said, like, even if, like, if you already had their voice downloaded, you already had their voice downloaded, you would still get to use it for two years. Like, nobody knew could download it, but if you already had it downloaded when they decided to take down their voice, you could still have it for two years. So it's unlikely that it's a circumstance like that. Maybe it's just an older model voice, one of these standard options that they decided they didn't want on there anymore. Don't know. Nothing else over here. Yeah, all of Finding Pudge's landscapes are so meticulously designed. You can just tell how much how much time and effort goes into them. Well, that's not good. Hey, at least they tanked some damage for us. On the move. Yes, sir. Not a problem, sir. Yes, sir. What's the situation, oh, sir? With me. What's the situation? On the move. Sir. Let's do not the situation. Move out. How can we oh, provide my toolbox, sir? Standing by. We're fixing to help. What's the situation? How can we provide? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now we can use that. Is there any... Roger that. Yeah, I was going to say, is there even any other way forward? It would be a good way to teach the player about this mechanic. If it was like, if this was closed off and it was the only way for us to go forward. But it looks like maybe it's just like a little bit of a secret or something. Let's see. Ooh, no. Get out of there. Well, there's certainly something that looks like it is worth. Anything broken? What's the situation? Listen up. Yes, sir. Sir. Roger that. Going up there for? What's the situation? Roger that. Definitely took some unnecessary damage by. Sir. On the move. By drawing them this way first. Looks like no one here made it. Survived the crash, only to be taken out by the bugs. Additional supplies yes, are now available. Roger that. Can we provide they really did. Why did they change the voice actress for that? It's like they added a, a new voice actress. This is bad for the technicians. Bad for all of them, really. Maybe they couldn't get the original voice actress back for some lines for the DLC. But, like, it is weird that they swamped out the, uh... The girl from the original. 
by. What's the situation? Understood. Sir! What's the situation? On the move! How can we Not provide a problem? Sir! Yes, sir! What is this? Block door. What's the situation? Let's tool up. Sir! On the move! There also, when it comes to Eleven Labs, there are... Yes, there are random voice options. Like, you can randomly generate a voice. On the move! And uh, presumably, it only draws from. They don't. <laughs> they don't go into that much detail about how the uh, randomly generated voices are generated. But I presume, out of the pre-made ones, I like. I presume they're not using any of the ones from the the pool of people that have signed up to have their their voice robotified. But. I presume from the, like the Sir, the pool of, of pre-made options that come with uh, that come with Eleven Labs that you don't have to go onto there the tab with all the the voice actor submissions and that. Listen up. I presume it's just taking the pre-made options and like moving sliders, different sliders up and down to try and make different voices. Adding different accents to them, that kind of thing. Sir. Roger that. Yeah, fixing Let's to help. What's the situation? And I don't know. Trooper, the original voice for this guy could have been one of those. Possible. Sir. This is really bad. Like, this is super bad. Wow. Sure hope that autosave is somewhere close. Yeah, oh my god. Pulling pulling a group that big. Holy fuck, you got me all the way back there. Where is this? No, what 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 is what, what is with this autosave? Where am I? I thought I was like all the way back at the beginning. I see. Yeah, that's right. We went through there and we and we got teleported. Oh god. Sir. Roger that. I presume Hercule City is taking some inf inspiration from uh Sir. From Dragon Ball Z. We're fixing to help. What is it? Affirmative. This way. How can we provide Grab my toolbox? Which Hercule is such a good name. Look alive, people. Let's go. Yes, sir. It's such a weird thing with the uh, the different rated versions of Dragon Ball Z, where some of them will will refer to him as Mr. Satan and Affirmative. the of course the original the, the original. Roger that. Roger that. Censored versions have him as, uh, the ones that aired on TV have him as Hercule. Look alive, people. This way. What is it? Yes, sir. How can we provide my toolbox? Sir. And I never, I never understood, like, why when they did that, like, when they, when they re-released, when they released, like, the... The uncensored ones. When we get the uncensored variation. And they decide to call him by the original name, Mr. Satan. At that point? Like, why not use both? Why, like, why not have Hercule be his real name? His real name is, like, Mark. But, still. Yes, sir. What is it? Why not... 
why not have Hercule be his real name? And then that just be his, like, in-ring title. But it's like, with the dubs, it's one or the other. They, It's like, you won't hear it both in the dubs. Sir, which way. I always thought was weird, of like... Yes, sir. They either exclusively refer to him as one or the other. Never both. Look sharp, troopers. Sir. Let's go. Yeah, this uh, this mission is gonna be real inconvenient. One of those ones where for every single soldier you lose, you're going to be significantly nerfed for the next set of bugs until we get some way to recuperate. Like right there, right there what happened, that's a no-go on missions like this. I did it on the previous one too, the previous set of bugs, but we only lost one and I decided I did not want to reload for that. But it happening immediately after again, I am gonna reload for. Yeah, like accidentally aggroing the next set of bugs and then they rush forward like that. You know, we gotta reload again, actually. We gotta, <laughs> we've gotta catch them with a grenade. What is it? This is what it's like when you're doing missions for the first time and you don't know what's gonna be five feet in front of you. Wow. Sir. Yes, sir. Inching along like this, this mission is going to take a hell of a long time. Look alive, people. Roger that. Yes, I kind of wish it had auto saved when we got this flag. Looks like no one here made it. Survived the crash only to be taken out by the bugs. Additional supplies are now available. Look alive, people! Yeah, that's even worse they come out and immediately aggro those bugs, but it turned out okay. They did not get chomped this time. Sir, affirmative. We are fixing the problem. Look alive, On the move. Oh, God damn it! I did it again. Just trying to move forward, and it turns out it's not okay. There's bugs just out of view. Sir, this way. Tools at the ready. Let's tool up. Look alive. <laughs> All of this retreading old ground because we did the same thing in front of that hive. We presume we could move forward to clear the hive when there was bugs just out of view. Sir, Roger that. What is it? Affirmative. Let's go. Yes, sir. Let's tool Look alive, up. people. Affirmative. Baby steps. Baby steps forward. Fixing there now. Yes, sir. Sir, good to go. Yep, we're taking zero chances from now on. I'm not looking to redo anything. Let's go. We're fixing the up. What is it? Waiting orders. Sir. This way. Tools at the I'll grab my tools. Look alive, people. Anything broken? Not a problem. This way. We are fixing the help. Let's tool up. Heading there now. Reactivate all radio posts. Wow, there was one right here, too.
We lost someone, but we are sure not reloading for them. Not when we're so close to a radio post. Not safe. Can't take the the hive. It's like it's it's a little bit jarring actually every time I hear the new voice speak because like I'm expecting the old one and it like doesn't sound right. It's like what <laughs> what am I hearing? Look alive, people. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tools at the ready. Which this kind of thing does not happen sir. that often, really. The other big example yes, I can sir. think of is uh we are fixing a problem. <laughs> is the original Destiny. How weird it was getting used to um How weird it was getting used to supplies are now available. Sir, Intel reports a new bug threat in our sector. Anything broken? Alert. Bug attack inbound. Where do you need it? Roger that. How weird it was getting used to the guy that replaced Peter Dinklage. Sir. Construction complete. Squad, ready for orders. Like, I wonder, with all the, like, YouTube, like, uh, like, full game videos, you know, was that even a trend back when, back when, when Destiny was new, the original Destiny? I don't know. So I'm, like, wondering if there's anything, is there even, like, a, like, a full campaign video of the original Destiny back when it was Peter Dinklage area successfully defended Oh, they're still landing NPCs. Sir. I was like, why did we not heal? Enter Subway, it yes, wants sir. me to do. Okay, fancy transition. I'm on it. Anything broken? Not Look alive, problem. people. Roger that. Yes, sir. Getting there now. Sir. Yeah, those things definitely simplify the transitions, that's for sure. What is it? The, uh, is the, the map makers don't have to be as, uh, Look alive, as creative as they used to have to get. Sir. Coming up with their own alive, transfer people. event ideas. A lot of this has been very claustrophobic. Sir. Oh, that's not good. Sniper 
Well, might have to reload here. No, just enough time for them stalling getting through here for the... The shotguns to activate. But yeah, a lot of the areas have been pretty claustrophobic. What is it? I'm on it. Look sharp. Which makes me not want to like increase the firing line too much. I would have increased the firing line by one, like getting more rifle troopers, but I held off because I valued I valued the snipers more and getting I at least wanted one group of snipers. The fact that I didn't have enough to get another set of rifle troopers is why I decided to get another set of snipers, but But yeah, getting their flare ability will be a lot more valuable. Sure, the lack of a second group in the firing line it makes dealing with tigers a lot scarier, but that scariness will dissipate. It will evaporate before our eyes as soon as the snipers get to level three. Then I can do this as well. I can direct control the snipers. Look alive, people. To get their firing rate up. What is it? Look sharp. We are heading there now. Sir. Affirmative. Tools at the right. Tool up. Look alive, people. There we go. I did not want to move up. I did not trust it. I was, like, apprehensive about the uh, potential of tigers coming out of there, and I was right to do so. How can we provide there Sir, now? Awaiting orders. Roger that. What is it? Sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Anything I'll grab my toolbox. What is it? Sir. Roger that, sir. What is it? Okay, well, let's all sir. just enter together then. Not a problem. I see. I wonder, does the... We went in here, came out here. I was, like, wondering if the, like, overworld space made Sir. complete sense. And no, of course this is bigger, you know. This is a, <laughs> it's a much more long trek, but, uh... But it's fine. That kind of thing does not matter. Most video games do that. I'm on. We are fixing the to where if you overlay the maps on top of each other when you're when you're doing this kind of thing, going through multiple transfer events like that, it ends up not making sense. And I mean, especially with interiors, most games the interiors are a lot bigger than the exteriors, and it's it's not worth thinking about. Well, that is very bad. Wow!
So, snipers. I'll grab my toolbox. Yes. Yeah, it'd be so weird to actually do that to like. Yes, sir. Move out and scan for targets. How can we provide support? Let's tool up. To actually yes. hold yourself. Yes, sir. Like strictly to the interior. Like if you were like, I'm gonna make an interior for this, and then like you strictly held yourself to like this small dimensions. Sir, Roger that. That kind of thing would be tough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not a problem. Or, you know, like interiors for like this kind of building as well. Yes. Move out. Scan. Anything broken. Heading there now. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's yes. Go. Though that game. Uh... Sir. Aliens Dark Descent. They sure do do that. Oh, wow, okay. Sure hope they'll be fine without that. Snipers, I'll grab my toolbox. What's the situation? Tools at the ready. Sir. They seem to be doing just fine. If only one of them had leveled up by now, it would delay those tigers just enough to where this single group of rifle troopers would be able to do it just fine. Sir. What's the situation? Yes, sir. Move out and scan for targets. What are we doing? Where's my tigers? Yeah, I don't like this. Why didn't they get triggered? Okay, now they're triggered. Well, that seems like maybe they can be gamed a bit then. If all I have to do is walk back a couple feet and they'll turn around and leave. But we, not, we might not have to game them like that. But now we know it's an option. Here comes another batch. Let's back up. Thinking about if I can move this turret up, but there's not really a safe moment to do so yet. A unit has been 
has been promoted, sir. Affirmative. And maybe not even worth doing so now that this is cleared out. That's really bad. That is unbelievably bad, actually. The same damn thing is happening as before. Sir, Intel reports a new bug threat in our sector. Come on. Okay. See what I mean? The value of the flare. What's the situation? Yes, sir. Let's up. Sir. What's the situation? Should not have walked forward, but that's okay. We've got flares. Okay, terrible. I, I definitely should not have activated their shotgun ability yet. This is going to be real sketchy now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Not enough. Come on, uh, get away from us. Okay, good. <laughs> that actually worked. Well, literally no other choice besides either reload or run all the way back Squad moving out. to heal. Which one is this? Yep, all because we we hit the uh, the shotgun ability at the wrong time. If I had waited, if I had, because I was like, I didn't know if those other bugs were gonna get there first. Sir, so I I hit the shotgun ability just in case I just in case I wasn't going to be able to. You know, this would be a good a good um, way to use, like, Dark Souls mechanics, right? Of, like, you're doing all these transfer events to get around, but then you get over to here. And, like, you get a little terminal here that, like, opens up this door so you can just walk on through here, that kind of thing. But, yeah, I was, I was, I was unsure if the, uh... The bugs that were, that were rushing at us were going to get there in time, so I hit the shotgun ability. And I definitely should not have, because they were just regular warriors, and even if they did get to us, it was not going to be a big deal. And just that little thing caused us to be doomed. Sir, I'm on. Because sure, the flares aggroed the next group of bugs. What's Sir, going on? Why are none of you moving? Troopers, standing by. Yes, sir. We would have been able to handle those bugs if the shotgun was ready sooner.
Look alive, Look sir. Yes, sir. Affirmative. That is such a weird yes, bug. Yes, sir. It did that before, too, where, like, after I clicked on a hive and then told them to go somewhere else, it, like, glitched out and it did not know where to tell them to go, so they just, like, stood still. A material cash? Now, I could, like, you know, maybe break this stage a little by throwing a flare over here and seeing what's over there. Potentially aggroing bugs we're not supposed to aggro yet and just get free shots on them because they won't be able to come over here. Like, if there is something over there, they wouldn't know how to respond if there's no direct route to us, so they would just stand there. They would just stand around and die. No priority spitters. Best I can do is, uh... Well, I don't know if I want to directly... I guess we're running! Where the hell was my save? I don't want to run all the way back there again. Oh, this was the first time, wasn't it? Before we even made the first trip back. Wow. Didn't, definitely did not mean to select them. I doubt that direct command on them is going to make them build that turret any faster. Construction. Had to use it because the drones were doing damage.
sir. On me. Tools at the ready. What's the situation? Gotta save before everything in here. Construction complete. Wow, look at that. You can tell they like with these new turrets. They were they were trying to design like around the problems they thought existed with the original turrets. Which Sir. Sniper's here. Which I don't think was necessary. Construction complete. Heading there now. I'll grab my toolbox. Sir. Sir. Miss me. Like, that is definitely why they put them on a new... Uh... Sir, Intel reports a new bug threat in Great, now we can do it. Sir. That is definitely why they put them on a new uh, form of, uh, of resource and... Uh, did things like this where there's like a radius to where you can't place anything around them but honestly I think when you do stuff like that, when you when you do a DLC and you introduce a new type of turret where you try and do something oh, like orders. that to fix a problem that's existed for like like years at this point since the game came out. It's like, I don't know guys, too little too late. You probably should have just left it alone and and not done something like that. Know what's over there? How can we provide support? What's the situation? On me. But the potential of aggroing it while we're still trying to clear this out is certainly problematic. Don't want that. Luckily, they don't seem interested. Well, let's just save it here. Little bit of progress. Not trusting what is what is down here. Best to play it safe. So we don't gotta reload. Or if we do have to reload, we have the option. Low. 
broken tula. Does not look like that is traversable. Maybe it is, but maybe it's not. What's the situation? Awaiting order. I wonder why they tried... I wonder why they decided on, like, arbitrary numbers like this. For the material. Sir. 35 material. 15 for each of these. Like, why not just have it be one? Right? What, like, if we just had two material right now... Two materials so we could uh build two turrets kind of thing. It is weird. The quantities they chose for them. Look sharp, troopers. Like if it was just the vehicles, it wouldn't like draw so much attention to it. Awaiting orders. It's the fact that we have like directly contrastable. Turrets that use war support to be built. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anything right, like, like where it's not that complicated of. Basic turrets take one. Sir. Special turrets take two. Then again, the supply numbers are also weird. <laughs> the, these, from the beginning, the war support was the Sir. the simplest and cleanest of the resources. Now we have now we have two weird ones, and one simple one. Of like. Look sharp, troopers. Awaiting orders. But then again, the these supplies actually do kind of fit. Sir. Oh god, this is bad. Yes, sir. Run! On me. Roger that. Good, they left for some reason. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Like at a glance the supplies look Roger weird. That. With the random numbers, but uh, but actually, it's not so bad. I think it's it's like one for this guy. Like for a tactical officer, it's one. Look sharp, troopers! Awaiting orders. Snipers here. Two for things like the snipers. I think it's like three for the rifle troopers, and then when you get to the like the marauders, it's like four. Okay, this is like I don't remember exactly how much it is though, but this is really bad. This is really bad, and now we have to run all the way back to the start. Wow, how inconvenient. Where did I fucking save? I don't want to reload, or I don't want to run all the way back. Anything broken. 
now. Sir! Keep What's low. the situation? Not a problem. Sir. Yes, sir. We're fixing I'll grab my toolbox. What's the situation? Roger that. Tools at the ready now. What's the situation? On Anything broken? Let's tool up. Sir. How can you provide support? Sir. Tools at the ready. What's the situation? Sir. Construction complete. Not enough range. Sir. Let's move Roger. up to like here. How can we provide support? I guess let's build one here. Since we did not get to move up to a better spot. Construction complete. We're fixing heading there now. Sir. Sky fatigue. Miss me. And these turrets really do feel less helpful than the original ones. Construction complete. Like, let's see. If I put an auto cannon here, what's the situation? Yes, sir. Roger that. How much suppression ability does this thing have compared to the original turrets? Because that suppression ability was like the thing that made them useful. Construction complete. So this heavy gun turret doesn't even feel that helpful because it has no suppression. So if we compare that to this... Wow, actually, that's uh, terrible. Yeah, they're a lot worse. They're a lot worse than the original turrets. Restrictive on where you can place them. Not nearly the same suppressive ability. And, like, if I had to choose, I would rather have... I would have a, rather have a regular turret and a rocket turret here than one of these heavy guns and an autocannon one. On me. Awaiting yes, sir. Sir. Keep low. Anything broken there now. What's the situation? Roger that. We're fixing I'll that. I'll grab my toolbox. Heading there now. Let's tool sir. up. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Heading there now. What's the situation? Keep low. Affirmative. How can we Not provide a problem? Sir. Keep low. Tools at the Let's ready. Let's tool up. What's the situation? Roger Anything that. Broken. Heading there now. Sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. I'll grab my toolbox. 
What's the situation? Keep low. Gonna make me defend this spot too? Yes, sir. Roger that. Anything broken. not a problem. Tom's base is operational, sir. Sir. Keep low. How can we Additional support? supplies are now available. Not enough additional supplies. Alert. Bug attack inbound. Construction complete. Yes, sir. Construction complete. What's the situation? Yeah, for suppression, this burst fire thing they do is no good. The consistent fire until it overheated with the other ones was much better. I really don't want a third sniper. Sir. Well, hopefully I don't... You know what? I'll save before I do this. I was about to say, hopefully I don't regret doing this, but this will be the way to prevent that. Just have a save ready Sir, for if we want to go. change our minds. Sir, roger that. Probably should not be running forward without the rest of our people in here. Yes, wow, the technicians made it in before anybody else? I do like how dirty and grimy these sewers look. Nerfing this move still baffles me. Sir. Move out. Check your lines. Waiting on Roger that. Let's go. How can we 
provide support. Not a problem. Let's tool up. Squad, this way. Roger that. Like, I guess they thought it was too strong. Too good for the player to have. That thing does not seem active yet. I see. That's what was over there. But yeah. Whatever whatever reasoning they used to nerf this thing, I certainly don't agree with it. Especially when you're, like, this deep into the development of a game. Like, why would you even bother? Like, especially when it's something that makes it, like, Check your lines of if you equate, like, how effective a unit is to how enjoyable it is for the player to use that unit. Certainly, deep into the life cycle of a game, you should not be making a unit less enjoyable to use. Like, that doesn't, that's not, that is not a good perspective to be having on why you should be nerfing something because you think it's overpowered. Get the technicians on that power core. Once it's repaired, it should power up the rest of this control station. Sir. Move out. Check your lines. Heading there now. Squad, ready right, like maybe if it was like an early patch or something. Sir. Yes, sir. Sir. Anything broken? Tools at the ready. Awaiting orders. But not this deep into a game's life cycle. <laughs> but then again. Most of the patches like that, that directly change units. Roger that. <laughs> like, I still think about the, uh... I still think about how they took away the ability to, like, block off units with the fire. And in the same process of doing so, making it so your own units are dumb enough to walk into their own fire. Sir. <laughs> like, there's, there's a lot of stuff they changed that yes, throughout the, uh, the development of this game that I was... I was not thrilled with them changing. Obviously, the other example now was the, the uh... fully restored, there should be a terminal nearby to open the doors in the corridor. What's the situation? The other example was the, uh... Yes, sir. Sir. The dropship ability the from the situation. HQ units to, to bring in Check reinforcements, the they... Sir. They super nerfed that. What's the situation? Roger that! And... Uh, there was so much cool stuff you could do with that when it came to exploring uh, exploring levels in ways you were not supposed to be able to. That it's like, 
that was a that was a feature, not a bug. You know? Like even if they're even if they're uh, even if their reasoning was like they wanted things to be harder for the player so they could not abuse that mechanic more. It's like why does it why does it matter to you, devs? <laughs> Couldn't you just leave it the fuck alone? Like what were you doing? You know? Roger that. I'll grab my toolbox. Let's tool up. Sir. What's the situation? We're fixing the house. I'll grab my toolbox. Squad, ready. They are chomping on the doors over there. Or mom momentarily were. You know, this this line of thought is reminding me a lot of uh, of my opinions on the uh, of the. You know what? Let's. Yeah, uh, well, I was gonna try and pull them back. I was gonna try and pull back the vulnerable units so they didn't go through first, but they did. It was reminding me of my thoughts on the uh, on the Rogue Squadron series, and this is this is very unrelated. the The problems I want to talk about with uh, the Rogue Squadron series, um, which is a flying game. There certainly is not any of the problems, any of those problems in this game. Certainly not. But. The Rogue Squadron game, game's uh, franchise, that is, especially when you get to, like, Rogue Squadron 2, is incredibly unintuitive, which is amazing. Because when you listen to the director's commentary, that is what the director of the game talks about a lot, is that it's one of the goals because they had players having trouble with their first two games, Rogue Squadron 1 and uh, Battle for Naboo, with those being intuitive. So they were trying to focus on these games, on this new one being like more intuitive than ever. And Rogue Squadron 2, might be the least intuitive out of the entire franchise. And they and they talk about how like they tried to give it to like press people and uh, game testers. And how the the people of the press like really could not figure out what the hell was going on in the game. And like they they were like really having problems with like handing this off to press. And like the the like experiences they were having were like extremely unintuitive and uh and poor experiences for the player. And the situation? Move out. Check your And the response of one of the devs that was like there was not that like maybe maybe your game is very obtuse and operational, sir. Okay, that thing is open now. Supplies are now available. Okay, what are you what are you telling me your game? Are we gonna do a defense sequence here? Yes, that is exactly what. what oh God! That? Never seen that type before. Looks like the bugs are evolving. Sir, Intel reports a new bug threat in our sector. But yeah, the uh. What's the situation? Yes, sir. Anything broken? The devs don't have any kind of, like, well, dev, uh, singular. He does not have any kind of, like, response of, like, oh, maybe 
Maybe we should make object objectives a little more clear. Maybe we should, like, guide the player there more. No. <laughs> he simply says that, like, oh, it couldn't have been... It couldn't have been that the journalist was just bad at the game. And I was like, I, like, it blew my mind. I was like, dude, this is a Star Wars game you're making. Like, for children. <laughs> if your game is not on it, is, is too, too obscure what to, to, for, like, the process of, like, what the fuck the player is supposed to be doing from level to level for, like, an adult. Forget that they're a journalist, you know? And, like, there's, of course, the stigma of, like, games journalists are bad. Forget that stigma. If a games journalist can't figure out what to do in your game, a child won't figure out what to do in your game. <laughs> and, like, therefore, you have a problem if your game is marketed to children. <laughs> you can't just be like, dog, the game journal is gonna, it's probably just bad. It's like, are you out of your mind? You know? <laughs> And I mean, and then they went out of business, that company. You know, they didn't last much longer. That's the same. For those that, that, that don't know, the the company that made Rogue Squadron, they also made the most infamous PS3 game in existence, being Lair. They took, they took the bones of what they did with Rogue Squadron. And they made Lair. And of course, Lair is, like I said, extremely infamous. And then they they went over under and the company closed. That was the end of them. What's the situation? Affirmative. Move out. Check your lines of fire. We're fixing the hell. I'll grab my toolbox. Anything broken. Not a problem. I'll grab my toolbox. Let's tool up. Sir, affirmative. Move out. Check your lines of fire. Yes, sir. Which I've never played Lair. Affirmative. But I I am very curious about it. Let's tool up. Not a problem. Sir. Like, just the fact that I have played the majority of that company's games that they ever made on this channel. Like, the only Rogue Squadron, like, I did Battle for Naboo, Rogue Squadron 1 and 2. The only one I did not do on the channel is Rogue Squadron 3. And if I do Rogue Squadron 3, then I feel obligated. Then I feel obligated to do Lair. to complete the entire portfolio history of that company before they cease to exist. Because the, the prospect does intrigue me, to be honest, What's the of yes, sir. Rogue Squadron style gameplay, but with dragons as what you're controlling instead of X-Wings. It is a curious idea. And it was an ambitious idea for the time, but I mean, for those that did not live through it, it was a... It was like the biggest black eye. Sir. The PS3 could not have had... Uh, that the PS3 could have had at the time. Because it was like... At the time, it was like the Xbox 360. We get... We get Gears of War. We get Halo. We get the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Because that was not at PS3. That was not on PS3 for a long time. Roger that. And then PS3 over there, because <laughs> because also people did not value Demon Souls yet. So instead, it's like, what does the PS3 get? They get Lair. And 
And sure, of course, eventually they get Last of Us and they get Uncharted and that kind of thing. But at the beginning, when they were still trying to shove those motion controllers down people's throats, the weird, the weird gigantic motion controllers that people have forgotten about, that was Lair of like, use your big awkward motion controller to control this dragon. Move out. Check your lines of fire. And like, people still think of that. Like when they, when they're asked to like, what, what is the first PS3 game that comes to your mind? A lot of people still say Lair. That's a real thing. Just because of like, what a big, what, what a colossal failure it was. But yes, incredibly curious about it. You have to like anticipate this thing, what it's gonna shoot that at. If you don't like get your units moving preemptively, it does not work. Check your lines of fire. Sir. But yeah, that unit drop down ability, you know what it could have been? If they weren't Sorry. thinking Can from like board, the perspective of uh, trying to limit players abusing that ability, it might have been that there was just a dev on the team Like when you have your list of priorities for a game, right? And you've got your, you've got your A, B, C, D, sir. all the priorities of things the team needs to work on. Yes, sir. It could have been that from like, What's the situation? for a very long time, there was some dev that wanted the ability to be that way. And they put it on the whiteboard, but they put it like all the way down at D. And like throughout the first DLC, that thing still was down at D. There were still lots of other things they had to work on. And then one day the board is clearing up. There's not so much stuff to work on anymore. And his idea, it's floating to the top. And then one day <laughs> that idea is the only thing on the whiteboard. He's like, and he finally gets the green light to go change it. He's gonna change it. So nobody can use that ability like that ever again. Oh, you know what? I've been talking too much. Didn't even notice I can do this. Sir. Affirmative. Put them on their own control group. Move out. Tools Check are heading there now. Sir. 
sir. But yes, I thoroughly enjoyed exploring levels like that. Getting to things that you could not otherwise get to like that. Move out. <laughs> and I said it when I first found out it was gone, and I still I still mourn the loss of that ability to be able to use the the dropship ability in that way. Not a problem. Sir. And the <laughs> that version of that move will forever be mourned, just like the just like the fire. Just like the loss of being able to use the fire to block off uh to block the the bugs from going down particular hallways and that kind of thing. What's the situation? Sir. Affirmative. Standing by. Roger that. Well, hopefully a bunch of bugs don't come out of that point of interest. Squad, ready On me. Sir. Yes, sir. We're fixing the grabbing toolbox. We've got survivors here. Fall in, troopers. Okay. Sir. Very nice. Situation. Yes, sir. How can we provide Heading there now? I'll grab my toolbox. Sir, rocket team on me. Roger that. Rocket team on me. Roger that. We're fixing the Heading help. there now. What's the situation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's tool up. Sir, rocket team on me. Tools at Heading the ready. there now. What's the situation? Yes, sir. Anything broken? Not a problem. Sir. Roger that. You know, I always wonder. I always wonder if, like, any devs at all. Because it's only natural, right? To be curious about a game that you spend so much time of your, uh, your life developing. To, like, to go online and perhaps watch a random video like this. To see what this random YouTuber's opinion is about your video game, and uh, and to those devs, I would say you're better off not going online. <laughs> Don't do that to yourself. Don't go to random YouTubers. Just uh, just enjoy your job. Just focus on your job. Because you know, like, there's even this kind of thing in like the YouTube world, right? of like reaction videos or people making videos about other YouTubers and that kind of thing. You best believe that like if there was any of that for any of my content, I sure would not be watching it. I'd be like, I'm busy. I got shit to do. I'm not going to watch that. But I, I bring that up specifically because I was talking about those updates and not liking them right. Because if a if a random dev did decide like, you know, like, oh, I wonder, Rocket Troopers, Rocket I wonder Rocket what Rocket the internet Rocket thinks of my Rocket game and like clicks on a random video like this. And then they hear me talking about the updates Check like that. And, and he's like, I was the one that put that on the whiteboard. How dare he not like it? <laughs> That kind of thing. You're better off just avoiding that. <laughs> but I'm sure <laughs> that is such an unlikely scenario, though. I'm sure that's not the case. If any devs bother to watch any videos like this, it's probably a very small percentage, like one or two guys, right? 
And the chances of out of all my videos, this was the one they clicked on. Very small chance, right? Much higher chance that they would have clicked on my Urban Onslaught full playthrough and got pissed off at that one, right? And <laughs> much, much higher chance of that. <laughs> Standing by. Squad, ready there now. Where are we going? Looks like we can go through that way. No, no, we can't. Yes, sir. This way it is then. One way only. Oh yeah! Now that we can got a now that we got a rocket guy. I don't trust that slow. Turns out we can trust the slope. It's okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Oh no, that's not good. Snipers. That's one ugly bug structure. Take it down like the others. Sir, Intel reports a new bug threat in our sector. Sir. Yes, sir. Roger that. What's the situation? Troopers, move on. Squad, ready. Good thing I waited to choose this. Did not hit nearly as much of them as I hoped. I despise these things. The way they just instantly respawn when you get rid of them, so you're forced to, like, send a unit up there or, like, forced to just take the damage as you have units take down the, the nest. Not a fan. And why did they just spawn there? Is there another one? No, maybe that was just some kind of glitch. Okay, rocket guy. Just one more run in there. Rock 
Anything worth finding in here? It looks like we could have come in through that side. Ooh, no, technicians do not do that. Okay, this is certainly opening up. We've got a lot of directions we can go now. That way, this way. Yeah, I was just about to say that certainly looks like a hive. Oh, jeez, it's one of those. Instruction complete. Roger that. Roger that. Standing by. Sir, yes, sir. Squad, this way. way. Sir. Yes, sir. Snipers. Yes, sir. Rocket team up. Affirmative, sir. Okay, maybe we have defeated this hive. Does not appear to have any tunnels. Yes, sir. Tools at the ready. Roger that. Yes, sir. How can we grab a toolbox? Listen up. Move out. Roger that. We're fixing the help. We're heading there now. Okay, now that we have cleared that one. Sir, rocket team on me. Yes, sir. How can we provide What's the situation? Rocket team on me. Roger that. I presume there's nothing up here. But we're gonna check anyways, just in case there's some super secret supply cache up here or something. Rocket troopers, move up. What is what's happening? What have I done? Affirmative. Yes, sir. Wow, that's crazy. It like broke and like they walked up it and disappeared, but then they like came back through it. Unless they walked through it the first time. But okay, I guess this was the way. We got a bridge or a door to open up at some point, right? I forget where that was. Right here, this door opened up. Not really as a shortcut back, because we had this. So we could go back there and heal, but... But nah, let's just move forward. Our turrets are under attack. Yes, sir. Yes, by me. What's the situation? Tools at the ready. problem. Sir. Yes, sir. Roger that. Rocket team on me. Affirmative. Sir, rocket team. Tools at the ready. Grab my toolbox. What's the situation? Yes, sir. Rocket troopers, move up. Roger that. Rocket team. We're fixing the problem. Sir. What's the situation? Rocket troopers. Anything move broken? Up. Let's tool sir. up. Sir. What's the situation? Affirmative. Does not look like I can go through there. Roger that. Rocket troopers, move up. Roger that. 
Yes, sir. Not sir. a problem. Rocket troopers, move up. Okay, What's the situation? On. Rocket troopers, move up. Yes, sir. This building's too dark for my liking. Tex, get some lights and power working. Tools at the ready. That's you guys. Sir, roger that. Standing by. I presume that's gonna like open this up or something and we're gonna have to do like a small defense zone here maybe, maybe not. Certainly gonna activate this. Yeah, which seeing the enemies try to walk through flames is nice. But the trade-off of like the friendly units also now walking through your own flames is the worst. Move out. Check your waiting orders. Standing by. Tools at the ready. Thought they already did this. Repair power core one. I don't know why I said one. That's gonna open the door. Yes, sir. Rocket team on me. Yes, sir. It appears to have done so. Rocket team on me. Roger that. Yes, sir. Roger that. Just more materials. Check your lines of fire. Roger that. What about this? What's in here? I see. Move That's our way out. Not this fire. thing. Sir. Rocket team. On me. What's the situation? Rocket troopers. We're fixing that problem. Sir. Rocket team. On What's me. the situation? Rocket troopers. Move up. Sir. Roger that. Rocket troopers. Anything broke. Grab my toolbox. What's the situation? Affirmative. How can we provide stool up? Sir. Extremely dangerous, I should have saved. Alright, we made it through that time to save again. Sir, Roger that. We're fixing I'll grab my toolbox. Let's pull up. Whoa, ready. Sir. Wait for it. Sir. There's a lot of enemies to just come out here too. Many enemies, in fact. 
more than we can handle with what we have left. Anything broken? Rocket team Rocket. Event. Tools at the ready. Come on. Affirmative. So we gotta walk all the way back now. Right through some invading bugs, unfortunately. I mean, unless this hive is active. And we, and we can just, like, go shut down the hive, but... I doubt it. But maybe. Probably not worth it, though. Probably should just stick to the plan. Keep going forward. Okay, well, once we get this, yeah, too bad we didn't get this. It's That was quite a lot of bugs to be out there. Look alive, troopers. Look sharp. Roger. All right. Look sharp. Now the, uh... The long trek back. Yes, sir. For some reason, that made me think of... Uh, of, uh, <laughs> of... Of Gimli. No, not Gimli. Gandalf! I said the wrong thing. The of Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. When they enter Moria, and he's like... I can't remember the exact quote. It's like, he says something like, Now the long dark of Moria, something like that. As they're first going into it. That's what I thought of when I thought of the walk I had to make back to, to where we're going. Holy shit, technicians, no! I made the conscious choice to attack move in case anything came over. I forgot about the goddamn technicians. That's actually going to be very problematic. Just in terms of time, because now we're going to have to wait for them to. Because we're not going to advance until they get back. You know, the 60 materials thing, like when I was talking about the, the quantity. It reminded me of other instances where, where games do that, like, uh, not necessarily a video game, but like, take Yu-Gi-Oh, for example, right? When you, when you look at... The life points and uh, the amount of damage the monsters do. We're like, they don't really need things to be 3,000 and 9,000 life points. You could have 9 life points and something do 3 attack instead kind of thing. And sure, they have things that, like, fill the middle spots sometimes, like... Like stuff with 2,500 attack. So you could do, instead of bringing it all the way down to there, you could do like, you know, a hundred life points instead of uh, instead of a thousand. If you <laughs> wanted to simplify it a bit, but in that case, people like looking at it. 
People like looking at their monster having 3,000 attack, and they, they go, you know, big number better kind of thing. But they actually, at one point in time, tried to make a system, a simplified system like that, which was, which was Dungeon Dice Monsters. Because Dungeon Dice Monsters made it instead of, uh... Instead of you having... 3,000 or like 9,000 life points. They did reduce it down to the, the player only having three. Construction. And I don't remember, the attacks were relatively low as well. For the monsters. They weren't they weren't the same as they were in uh in the main game at all. But it did not matter actually, it did not it did not contribute to the uh did not contribute to the the lowering of the life points. Instead, the lowering of the life points was uh, entirely... ...instance-based. Like, instead of whatever the attack of the monster was deducting from the total life points, it was just, if you get hit once by anything, that is one damage kind of thing. This. Okay, the actual hive is that way. Construction complete. Sir, rocket troopers, move on. Anything broken? Tools at the ready. What's the situation? Yes, sir. I'm risking sending them over there. Hoping nothing comes out of the darkness over there. Another group taken down by the bugs. Sir, Additional supplies are now available. Okay. We'll make use of those when we get over there, I suppose. Instruction You know who's a real Sir, abuser of the high number thing? Was, uh... What's the, situation? the Dragon Ball Z card game. Where it had these, like, power tiers that your... That your... Your characters would, would go up and down on. Because it, it added power levels to the uh, to the card game, 
which means that you could have like a character with like a, depending on what saga your cards were from, right? Like it was a big deal to have a Super Saiyan Goku from uh, from the Frieza saga, because then you got a power level, you got a card with a power level over a million, kind of thing. But yes, they they definitely only did that because of the because of the the show's introduction of power levels. Yeah, you got to see you got to see them guessing all the seasons that you didn't get power levels on. You get to see what that what that card company was guessing they would be with the cards they were releasing. Well, we already have a firing line of three. Oh, wow, we've got ten supplies now. That's a big difference. In that case, let's do this, 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 Drop and that. Engaged elsewhere, sir. But yeah, if I remember right, they put... Like the Cell Saga people, it was uh, it was like slowly climbing towards three million. Or no, no, I said that wrong. Two million. Right? If if Goku was at a million or a little higher than a million at Super Saiyan in in the eyes of the card people. Then when you get into the androids and sell, it's their slow, it's their slow climb to to two million and then two and a half million, and then, and then Boo, the Boo Saga stuff is three, three to four million. Which I can't remember what Broly was at, but because I never had, I did, I did own a lot of those cards growing up, but I never owned the Broly ones, because they were not... From what I remember, you couldn't get them from, like, a pack. Maybe you could. But I thought it... I figured it was, like, something... Something specific you had to buy to acquire those. But I had a, uh... I had a friend that had all of the Brolys, and... Man, did I want them. I don't remember what Broly was at. I don't remember if they put him higher or lower than Cell, but I'm sure they put him pretty high. I remember that was the like that was the bar when I was a uh, when I was a kid of like judging who would beat who in the show. Is comparing comparing their power levels in the card game. That must be who would beat who. But yeah, no, that's not that's not really an accurate representation of the uh of how things would go, surely. Affirmative. What's the situation? Roger that. Anything broken there now? Maybe roughly, but not. Get ready. Yeah, these bugs just attacking as soon as we come out is very inconvenient. What's the situation? Get those launchers. Which that reminds me of something else. talking about those cards and all that, which was... There was this very specific thing in, um... In one of the Tenkaichi games. I think it was Tenkaichi 3. Which, which also... Before I talk about this random obscure thing from Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi 3... Um... 
I, well, I'm actually amazed at how well the marketing has been going for that new Tenkaichi game. The fact that people are are saying things like, Oh my god, Tenkaichi is coming back! Tenkaichi 4, I can't wait! And like, having actually played the majority of Dragon Ball Z games in existence, like, I, I sit there going like, like, wow, all of you people must have stopped playing at Tenkaichi 3. If you think Tenkaichi 3 was the last Tenkaichi, right? Because it's not. It's nowhere close to the last one. Because you have Tenkaichi 3, and then you have Ultimate Tenkaichi for the 360, as well as Raging Blast 1 and 2, which was just rebranded Tenkaichi. Yes, sir. Moving to position. Sir. Yes, sir. Get ready. And then Battle of Z, which was also for 360, which was rebranded Tenkaichi again. Get those launchers moving. Sir. And then they decided to get a little bit more creative with it. Yes, sir. Ready to go. That so they did Xenoverse, which Xenoverse is just like the multiverse version of Tenkaichi. And then they did Kakarot, which Kakarot is just the RPG version of Tenkaichi. There's even a Connect Tenkaichi game for 360 as well. That one's really lost to time. Sir, affirmative. But yeah, there's so many Tenkaichis that like I couldn't believe it when people were clamoring when when Tenkaichi, the new Tenkaichi, was released, as if it's not going to be the same thing they have been re-releasing like every other year for decades at this point. <laughs> Only nowadays they stopped releasing a new game every year and they started, they got on the DLC train. Now they've just been releasing Kakarot and uh, Xenoverse DLC forever. Sir. Yes, sir. We're fixing not a problem. But like I said, That's not me being, like, pessimistic about it or anything. That's just realistic. Like I said, I played the majority of them. I'm the real demographic here. I played all those Dragon Ball Z games and all the people clamoring for Tenkaichi 4 didn't. Right? Bandai Namco has squeezed more money out of me than them. You know? Not a problem. Sir. Yes, sir. I'm just saying it's amazing how well the marketing's working. That none of them have any idea how many Tenkaichi games actually exist. And obviously, I'm not talking about everybody. I'm just talking about all the... All the people that actually talk like... That I, that actually talk like Tenkaichi has been gone this whole time. When it, it was not. It just got rebranded like three or four times. Anything broken? Infantry, standing by. Get ready. But all right, what I was actually going to say before that, though, the thing I got distracted from saying. There is a very obscure thing in one in Tenkaichi 3, I believe, because I don't think Tenkaichi 3 is when they were running out of characters. For those that don't know, Tenkaichi 3 is the is the Mortal Kombat Armageddon of Dragon Ball Z games, where, like, they saw that they were going to have to transition to a new system very soon, so they decided to make one last game for the PS2 and just put as many characters as they possibly could in it. Just far too many. So there's some insane amount of like 150 characters in Tenkaichi 3. 
movie. And one of these characters was Devil Man, okay? This this very obscure character from Dragon Ball. Not even Dragon Ball Z. He's from I believe it was season 4 of Dragon Ball. And What's the situation? And his gimmick His gimmick was that he had this thing called like a devil ray beam or something like that. And if he hit, if he hit a person with evil in their heart, they would explode. They would instantly die. It was that it was supposed to be unbeatable by anybody evil. And Goku lived because he's a he's a pure-hearted boy. That was the thing. It was like, oh my god, Goku lived. He couldn't believe that there was no evil at all in Goku's heart. A unit has been promoted, sir. And Tenkaichi 3 uses this gimmick to say, like, what if what if Devil Man actually was in the rest of the the rest of the events of Z? Like, he's there when the Saiyans arrive. And he's the one that ends up... ...defeating them all. And then he goes on, I think the, his, like, special campaign... ...ends with him beating Frieza. And he's, like, actually amazed with himself. He's like, I did it! He's like, oh my god, I did it, basically. And it's a good scenario, it's a good, fun scenario for that game. I like that it's included. I do. A lot, actually. It's a very creative inclusion for that game to have. But there's... But there's, like, a lot of YouTubers out there. I shouldn't say a lot, but they exist. <laughs> there's, there's definitely, like, people out there that decide to talk about this guy as if he actually would be able to do this in the show, okay? And it just shows, like, such a misunderstanding of Toriyama's writing that you think the Devil Man would actually go on to kill Frieza if he if he had a chance, right? In the show. That's not, that's not how Toriyama's writing works. Right? If it was actually in the show, what would happen is that he would have he would have been standing there with with Tien and Yamcha and all them, right? Troopers standing by. Sir, oh, we're minute. taking too long. Ready to go. Roger that. I don't know if they're gonna get in there in time. Hopefully they will. He would be standing there with Tien and Yamcha and Chatsu and Krillin and Piccolo and Gohan when when the Saiyans arrive. Damn it, we were too late. Extremely inconvenient. Because now we're going to be permanently nerfed for whatever's next. Until we get to another, uh... Another radio station. And now we got to hope they get in there fast enough before this one activates. Get those launchers moving. It's not going to happen. Alright, fuck it. We have to reload. That's two, that's two squads permanently nerfed until we get to a radio station. I'm not walking all the way back. It's not happening. Yes, sir. Roger that. Yes, sir. But Roger yeah. That. He would have been standing there with everybody. And then he tries to use it on Nappa, right? And it would hit and Nappa, promoted, and then Nappa would like laugh and be like, oh, that tickles. And that would be the end of it. Sir. And and then and then Devil Man would be shocked. What do you mean my beam is useless? Because it would just turn out that there's like yes, a certain power level that overrides your ability. Like, really, there's only, like, one exception to this rule. Sir. 
and that's the Destructo Disc. That's the one. That's the one exception to the rule in all of DBZ. Which they never, they never like, <laughs> they never, they never show a scouter looking at the power level of the Destructo Disc either. They just, they just like, well, it, it just does it. It just can cut through anything. Because like they established pretty early on that things can't just do that. Right? Like, when you, when you, like, start at, like, the, where they start the power level discussion with, uh, with Raditz. When Toriyama first introduces power levels, right? It's established that, like, no matter what it is, if it, if it does not equal your power level, it does not hurt you, right? That's why, that's why, that's why Piccolo has to do his special beam cannon. Because if he concentrates his uh, his power into a single beam and raises his power level high enough to be over Raditz's base power level so it can kill him. But they never they never show that with the with the destructo disc. They ignore that rule with the destructo disc. And suddenly he can just uh, you know he can do things like. Cut off the tail of Frieza with it, and that kind of thing. Rocket troopers, move up. Which that's a great moment. It is a it is a good moment when he does that. But I'm just saying that's the one exception to the rule. And Toriyama really liked Krillin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, there's no way he would have. Uh, yes, there's no way he would have bestowed devil man with being the other character with that honor to have a a power level overriding move Yeah, and I know. Most people watching this are going to be like, this has nothing to do with Starship Troopers. Why Why are you talking about this? But hey, it's Hercule City, right? Or like, yeah, Hercule City. Which is a real place in DBZ. Hercule does have a city named after him. So I have my excuse to talk about DBZ for this episode, for, for this, for this, uh, for this video. I forgot to do this. Our turrets are under attack. Can we get this into this radius by standing here? Yes, we can. Get ready. I am at base is operational, sir. Construction complete. Okay, we can just walk right over that. Good. In that case, we can kind of inch this way. Construction. 
unit has been promoted, sir. Okay. Sir. Rocket troopers, move on. Sir, yes, sir. Hopefully they have enough time to get in there. Yeah, that is also why technicians are so much worse than engineers, really, right? How efficient the engineers were at clearing out hives. And now we have technicians that not only can't clear hives, but they don't help pretty much at all. Yes, sir. Scans are showing massive bug movement in the area. We oh. need to clear this section and set up a defensive line. Who knows what the bugs will throw at us? Sir. Roger that. Anything broken? Sir. Rocket team, on me! Two units and... I see, a Marauder. And a Fleet Liaison. Construction complete. Well, if I'm, if I'm going to take a Marauder... These are 20. Fine, we'll skip the Marauder, and I'll do one of those in a mortar. What's the situation? Affirmative. Rocket troopers, move up. Yes, sir. Rocket team, on me. Roger that. Affirmative. Construction complete. We're fixing to help. Sir. What's the situation? Construction complete. Affirmative. Dear God, what are they doing over there? How can we provide Not a problem. Head in there now. Well, we have We're four war support. Help. I suppose, yeah, that's only for if you wanted to get... Well, never mind. Anything broken? They sure. switched the Marauder to being material. I still have not done any of the base missions to see if that is like consistent throughout those as well. If it is, yes, not sir. a fan. Rocket team, on me. Yes, sir. Rocket troopers, move up. Rocket team, on me. Get up. Yes, sir. Okay, I mean, this looks like we could potentially put something up here. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, this, this like, seems deliberately like we can get all the way up there. Like, I could potentially put Sir, the turrets, the defense turrets up there. Well, that's no good. Sir, in teleport and you bug head in a second. Fortify your defenses and prepare for the bug's final assault to prevent you from retaking Hercule City. When you're ready to start the attack, click on the orange flag next to your radio station. That's nice that it lets that it gives us the option to choose when to start it up like that. Yeah, it might be gaming the system a little too hard if I if I set up my defenses around this, but you certainly could make a mega defense system up that up this tower. Since elevation makes it so that line of sight does not matter. Construction complete. Right, like if we were here shooting through to here is is like a problem. But if we're like here. Shooting through to here is not a problem. Engineers reporting. Construction. Tell us what to do. I guess they can be priority Hornet. The Mortar can be priority Spitterbug. Oh, 
Okay. We got an additional war support as well. So far, this has been a nice base defense sequence. Oh, you know what? I should do this. I forgot about that new ability that the uh, the fleet liaison has. Oh, you can't even get the technicians back. Whoops. What do you need? Just now noticing. Yes. 
Okay. I think we've done it. I figured three was the last one, but it seems not. Seems that we gotta do two more. Additional supplies are now available. Standing by. Construction complete. Engineers, now hear this. Attack inbound. What do you need? Which it's fine that we don't have those technicians because next turn we'll just get, or next uh, next wave we'll just get. Another Marauder. Okay, well, I seem to have a very specific formula for this. It seems to be going just fine. Haven't had to really change it up at all. Just flare is a... Fire barrier is a... Orbital bombardments. Rinse and repeat. That looks like the last of them, and another victory for the mobile infantry. Gear up and prepare for the next mission. Oh, that was it. Okay. Hercule City liberated. Well, that's where I'm calling it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.